We've been here so many times already. I am now actually recognizing where we are. Uh, we are in Surfside, Florida. Surfside, Florida is home to many kosher institutions. We know a guy, his name is Mendel. Mendel has a passion for barbecue. Mendel is one of the original fit new school kosher barbecue guys. This is Mental Backyard Barbecue, Surfside, Florida. So let's go get some more. Let's yeah. go get He's always enthusiastic about barbecue. All right. I heard of barbecue, but before that, I thought it was hot dogs and hamburgers and maybe steak if it was like big. But, and uh, basically, in a nutshell, it's put on an amazing first, first, first time event. KC Kosher Barbecue Contest, modeled it after the Memphis, but changed it up to be more Kansas City style. Then I started competing in other barbecue contests. The guy from Miami says, hey, I have a barbecue spot in Surfside. I'm looking to either, you know, to either sell it or bring somebody in to take it over. And I was like, all right, all right I'll come next week, check it out. And then uh, we open. What is Kansas City style? I guess if you want to textbook it, it would be sweet, heat, sauce. Burn ends are, one, are probably the number one item that Kansas City is known for, and that is my by far number one seller here. My main, main man, Judd, why don't you come over here, here and kick this guy out of his seat? All right, all right. Yeah, it's just scuff. Let's get this good. Barbecue is saucy and carby, and Florida is drunk and saucy and carby. Um, we have fries here. Judd, I got brisket and fries here. You want to try that? Cool. Brisket and fries. Brisket is rich, brisket is delicious and it's fatty. And there's a lot of flavors and a lot of salt. French fries have texture, crunchy on the outside, squishy on the inside, but they have a lot of moisture and they really provide a crunch and a smush. And because you're getting that beautiful beef, there's truffle oil in there, but truffle oil not to make it taste like truffle, but to help kind of kapow and kablam the flavors, it's going in there. This looks like some sort of Mexican salsa, pico de gallo, Latin, French fry, uh, late night stoner dish is now in your mouth. What may seem like just a, a plate of fries and stuff on top, which is what it is, this is generally what I want. Do you want to eat a bowl of fries with a beautiful chipotle spice? That is not an American heat, that's not a Jewish heat. That's a fantastic that's little bowl. Oh yeah. He gave us what he called the barbecue sundae. All the stuff that I would eat with my barbecue all in once. This makes 100% sense to me. Everything but the bread. And I think you get an idea, because the beans themselves are important. When you get your barbecue, you get a platter with a piece of paper and all your stuff. So he just put it all in the bowl and said, why well, give it to you separately? These are things that take multiple days to cook and prepare. This is what it's all about. We have his brisket, we have his beans, coleslaw pickles. These are called back ribs. These are the steak in between. So this is that ribeye steak kind of thing in between. And this is probably my favorite kind of rib. And let's just start, start to understand Mendel's obsession. These are wonderful. There's different kinds of textures and different kinds of ribs because it comes from different parts of the animal. And then he has a very distinctive sauce. It's a signature sauce. I'll dip some more. And it's very distinctly Kansas City barbecue. Yeah. Because Kansas City barbecue, sweet and heat, like tangy and yeah. zippy. Yeah. What everybody thinks about American barbecue, you think about brisket. Brisket's incredibly difficult to do, especially in mass, especially when you're smoking, especially when you have just a wood fire and you're really trying to do control. This is his brisket. Kosher brisket has a salinity. And what's always important is that there's defined texture in the actual, like, bite and chew. Kansas City burnt ends. This is a definition of Mendel. This is Mendel's effect on the kosher keeping community. This is a very Kansas City thing. This is Mendel. This is smoked, trim, smoked again, sauced and smoked again. Soft, creamy, candy, meaty. It's not a burnt. It's just when you take caramel and you 
you, you heat it, right before it burns, you get caramel. And those are added sweetened notes that can help identify smoky more, help with your salt more. And I think that's the whole idea behind these burnt ends. Beans and coleslaw and pickles. The beans are usually sweet and smoky and spicy. I love them. And then you gotta have the slaw. And I like to have it all together. Cause that's, barbecue's a mess. And I'm gonna put some of that there. He sells this as a Sunday, by the way. But this is how I eat barbecue when nobody's looking. So pre camp pie, and there's a little bourbon in there, like some southern influence, and he's worked very hard on making pecan pie, which is the best, because pecans are sweet, they have an oily, they can hold a spicy, there's so much going on with a pecan. You're my pecan pie. You know what Mendel can do? Hmm. He can make a good pie. Uh. Ah. This man was one of the first of the new school neo-kosher barbecue guys. This is Mendel. He spent a lot of years getting this done. He has an art, he has a craft, he has a passion, which we always feel is the most important flavor. Mendel came from Kansas City to tell the Jews what kosher barbecue should be, specifically Kansas City style barbecue. That's what Mendel is here. He's a Midwest Jew. And in my mind, the Midwest Jews and you know Memphis adjacent ones we're pretty cool cats, pretty cool cats. We get it done. This is Mendel's Backyard Barbecue, Surfside, Florida. We've been here enough times, I know where it is. That's right. Oh, 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 oh,